Hey guys, what's up? It's Team 3D Math. Um, today we're doing a pretty common topic. Uh, I'm actually surprised I got this question, but uh, prime factorization. I keep forgetting that everybody turns 12, 13, 14 every single day. So there's still people out there who don't know how to do prime factorization. It's pretty simple. Um, simply means break down the numbers into prime numbers. What is a prime number? A prime number is a number that that can only um, whose only factors are itself and one. Like for example, five. Five is a prime number. Why? Because there's no other ways to get five um, than by doing five times one. So that's why five is a prime number. Same thing with eleven. Eleven cannot be broken down into any other two factors than eleven and one. So it's a prime number. Prime factorization means break down the number into all the prime numbers that that constitute it. So for example, thirty six. First thing I do, I like using the trees. I like doing everything in a simple method, right? Thirty six is really six times six, right? So now you're gonna look at those two numbers. You want to break down each of those two numbers into prime numbers. If the number can be broken down, you cross it out and you break it down. If it cannot be broken down, you circle it. Can you break down a 6? Yes, so you circle it. And it gives you 3 times 2. Can you break down a 6? Yes, it gives you a 3 times 2, so you circle it. I mean, sorry, you don't circle it. You actually cross it out. That's what I normally do when I... You don't have to do all that. That's what I normally do when I'm breaking numbers down. So now you're left with 3 times 2 times 3 times 2. Can you break down a 2? No, then you circle. You circle the numbers that you cannot break down. Can you break down a three? No. A two? No. Three? No. So the prime factorization of 36 is three times three, right? Times two times two. And most softwares or most professors will, act, will ask you to simplify this, meaning um, using the exponents. You have a the simplified method of this is simply three times two, right? You write down uh each individual number and up here you're gonna put the number of times that number is repeated so three is repeated twice so you put a two here two is repeated twice you put a two here so you can have it as three squared times two squared or you could just have it as three times three times two times two so this is uh the prime factorization of 36 let's try with 48 same thing what goes into 48 48 is 24 times 2. Can you break down a 2? No, so you circle it. Can you break down a 24? Yes, so you cross it out and you break it down. 24 is 6 times 4. Wait, 6 times 4, 24? Yes. Uh, can you break down a 4? Yes, so you cross it out and you break it down. Can you break down a 6? Yes, so you cross it out and you break it down. 4 is 2 times 2. 6 is 3 times 2. And then you circle the numbers that cannot be broken down. So you cannot break down a 2, circle, circle, circle. You cannot break down a 3, circle. So those are your prime numbers. So the prime factorization of 48 will be, I'm going to write from right to left. Um, it's going to be 2 times 2 times another 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, another 2, and a 3. That's the prime factorization of 48. And if they want you to simplify this, then once again, like I said, you look at each individual prime number. You have a 3 and a 2. So these are your main prime numbers. And the exponent is going to be the number of times that prime number is repeated. 2 is repeated 1, 2, 3, 4 times. So 4 goes up here. 3 is repeated 1. So it's 3 to the 1. So which is really 3. 3, any number to the first power is the number itself. So 3 times 2 to the 4. That's the prime factorization of 48. If you have a longer number like 172, don't panic. Just divide it by 2. I always divide by 2 if the last number is even. Uh, 172 divided by 2. I can't do that in my head. You got to be kidding me. Let me use a calculator. Um, it's 86, I believe. Let me double check. 172 divided by 2. Yes, yeah, 86. So it's 86. <coughs> times 2. Can you break down the 2? No, so you circle it. Can you break down the 86? Of course. Uh, this one I'm going to do in my head. Yeah, 43 times 2, I believe. Yeah. Can you break down the 2? No, you circle it. Can you break down the 43? Yeah. Sorry, I forgot to cross it out. Uh, 43. No, actually, you cannot break down the 43. I don't think so. Is there anything goes into 43? Let's see. Obviously, it doesn't go into 3. I don't think 43 goes into anything. 
What do you think, guys? <clears throat> yeah, I don't think 43 goes into anything. So, the prime factorization of 172 would be 2 times 2 times 43. If it does go into something, put it in the comment, book, in the comment box. I don't have time to plot a piece of paper and do it, and I don't know it in my head. But I'm pretty sure 43 is a prime number. Wait, actually, I don't think it's a prime number. Let's see. 43 divided by 9. 43 divided by... Uh, 43 divided by 17. I'm just using trial and error right now. Mm, yeah, I think it's a prime number. So, yeah. So, that would be your prime factorization for 172. It will be 2 times 2 times 43. Or, if you want to simplify it, it would be 2 to the second power times 43. And that's it for prime factorization. I hope that helps. Subscribe and press the like button.